Hello friends, uh, this is uh, Lady Linus. I thought I would do a Father's Day tribute today. Um, so first of all, if you're a father, I wanted to wish you a happy Father's Day. Um, and even though my father passed away, my dad, uh, William, or we called him Bill, or I called him Dad, but... <laughs> um, passed away in uh, 2015 at the age of 85 um, but I wanted to share some memories of him um, first let me say happy Father's Day to all of my brothers uh, Mark Danny David Steve and Wayne if you're watching happy Father's Day love and miss you um, <clears throat> so my dad was my adopted dad. Uh, we never, in our family, we never used the word step or adopted. It was just, this is our dad. These are our brothers. These are, you know, we were their sisters. We never used uh, any sort of uh, indication that we were a, bl a blended family, even though that's, that's what we were. We, you know, kind of... Uh, compared ourselves to the Brady Bunch, but, uh, you know, we didn't make a thing of that. And I loved that. I love that about our family. I mean, to this day, when the brothers come visit, um, my mom, they call her mom. They don't, you know, and, um, it's just been a nice, um, I don't know. It's hard to describe to people who who didn't grow up in blended families, but it's it was it was a good experience growing up, even if we had our hard times. I think uh, we did a good job adhering as a family. But anyway, so I met my dad when I was fairly young. Um, my parents met at church, uh, and my first memories of him before. I think it was before my parents were even dating, but um, the first memory that I can recall having of him was um, I was at church playing with the other church kids, and um, there was at the church there was this planter box where there were right by the front door of the church, and the you know you had to go up these steps to the church and then there was a planter box and there was a bit of a drop off there. Well, we kids, and there was like a patch of sand down at the bottom of the drop off. So we kids liked to stand on that planter and jump down. It was just a fun thing that we did as little kids. And of course, you know, we had to dress up for church and I was wearing um, a dress and tights with some sandals and, uh, I believe it was a spring day, so it was sunny out, and us kids were, after church, were having a fun time dr jumping off, and I was always a tomboy, even when I was that little, so I was joining the boys jumping off of that, and there were some girls doing it, but, um, you know, the the boys knew that they could dare me to, to do things, and I was jumping off this thing. Well, I guess I didn't want to jump off at one point, and one of the boys pushed me off of the thing and I fell and, you know, skinned my knee at, at, uh, in the sand below and, you know, my, my shoes got all filled up with, with sand and, um, I remember my dad picking me up, uh, taking me off to the side and sitting down on, you know, on one of the planter boxes and, and sitting there and talking to me and asking me if I was okay and rubbing my knee and, taking my shoe off and dumping all the sand out and, you know, just making me feel better. <laughs> and he also got after the boys that pushed me. I guess he saw the whole thing. Uh, apparently my mom was uh, off talking to some other parents and didn't see the whole exchange. And anyway, but my dad, um, before he was ever my dad, you know, picked me up, dusted me off, and brought me to my mom and told mom what happened. And that's one of the early mem memories I have of my dad. Um, he was just always really good with kids. He, the kids always loved him. Um, I remember the church kids would always love to, he would let, he would hang onto their hands and they would, you know, do f 
you know, walk up his legs and flip around, you know, while he held their arms. We used to just do all kinds of fun things like that with him. And sometimes even before he was ever my dad, you know, so he was just that kind of person. He loved kids. He was funny as could be. Always making jokes. Um, always keeping people laughing and, um, just everybody liked him. He was a Leo like me. <laughs> So I like to say I got my Leo traits from him, even though, um, you know, he was my adopted father. Um, but he was always, he was a really good dad, you know, and, um, you know, as kids, we, we loved him. He, he was, <laughs> another thing he used to like to do, so uh, from the time I met my dad, so my dad was in his 50s when he met my mom, um, and... He used to, he had, he had dentures because when he was uh, playing softball, I guess apparently a softball head hit him in the face and knocked out most of his teeth. So he had dentures and he, he if you were sitting in church, you know, the church, there was a sermon going on. If you, if, if a, a kid was looking at him or something, he liked to, he'd make funny faces and let his dentures kind of drop out of his mouth and make kids laugh in church. Um, or just any time. I mean, he... He was just always doing silly stuff like that. Um, one of the one of the last pictures I took of him was him being goofy like that when he was in the hospital after his heart attack. Uh, you know, he's I have a picture of him sitting in his his night gown or his uh, hospital gown, and um, they had brought his food and there was a little receipt um, on the on the tray. He took the receipt and stuck it to his forehead and <laughs> he took a picture of it. He, it was, uh, the whole time I knew him, he was doing funny stuff like that. Funny, funny guy. And people just loved him. And he loved people. And he knew, he always knew how to make people feel at ease around him. And um, I miss him a lot. Uh... On a day like today, I would usually be calling home and talking to him, and I really miss him. So, which reminds me, I probably better call my mom and see how she's doing. Um, but yeah, it, it was really great, and you know, because of him, I had brothers in my life. You know, um, if he hadn't met and married my mom, I would never know what it was like to have a brother. And instead, instead I have six brothers. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, he was, he was really kind of the, I guess you could say he was kind of the linchpin of our family. He was, uh, you know, our, our whole family relationship seemed to center around my dad. And, uh, you know, I miss him a lot. I miss him a lot. So, I love you, Dad. I miss you. So anyway, that was my dad in a nutshell. Uh, I hope everyone is uh, having a good time celebrating Father's Day here at the group home. Um, we just had a little uh, a little barbecue. A handful of us went and barbecued a few steaks and stuff, and then um, the house itself had a had a uh, a luncheon with some a really nice luncheon with some salad and fruit salad and and pie and uh, some little kind of uh, Swiss steaks and, um, gosh, what else? Potatoes and carrots. And it was really good. I actually, um, did the barbecue thing with everybody else. So I ate barbecue and then, you know, the house had its, its separate dinner. So I just grabbed the separate dinner and I'm going to save it for later tonight because, um, on holidays like this, when we have, um, dinners, um, in the afternoon, we usually just have a sack lunch for, for, for late night dinner. So, or well, five o'clock, it's not late night, but you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just going to actually save my lunch for dinner <laughs> and then I don't have to have just a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So, um, anyway, I'm really just gabbing now because I'm bored. <laughs> um, I miss, I miss hanging out with friends. I, uh, you know, if, if we weren't, if I wasn't, um, on self-imposed lockdown right now, I, I'd be calling up friends and 
seeing if I could go over for a picnic or a barbecue or something, but, um, you know, it's all right. There, there are other, there's going to be other years. I, I just need to be safe right now. So, um, anyway, I hope everyone's having a good father's day and I will hopefully talk to some of you later. Take care. Love you. Lady Linus and friends signing off.